Yeah, but I don't want to do stand up that way personally. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Are you going to take a lead from the president? All the governors are going to bring a deaf person with you to do the translation? Are they all busy? You now? know what? I never seen I more want fucking one. deaf translators haven't worked this long <laughs> since fucking 1922. And they're the worst. I don't even know what the fuck they're saying. Dude, I love the deaf translators. They're fun. You don't speak sign language. No, no, I love it. Noises and faces with a face. And not one of them is attractive. Not one of those fucking. Not one of those fucking. I'm telling you. This is your next trend. (laughs) Listen to me. Not one of those fucking people. Yes, they are. A fucking hand doing anybody. Even deaf people are like, what the fuck are they saying? They're doing (laughs) things like this, like fucking land. They're never like deaf. It, it does seem unfair. Like, you know. I like, know. What about blind people? What about if you they fucking. They can hear you. All right. They can, no, they can't hear you. They can, blind yeah, you're right. Can they can hear you. Hear you. <laughs> but they can't see you. How come it's always got to be for fucking the deaf people? My phone has blind translation. What about a deaf person with a dog? That's what I want to see. You've seen Doing that. Doing hand signals with a dog. Where's the safety dog? <laughs> Where's the safety dog? She's deaf. Where's the dog? I don't know, man. I, I All I know is I, I have not seen any safety dogs oh. flying. Nothing pisses me off in these speeches. And then something. Yeah, Garcetti gave a speech and he had like plan B. Like they had a switch, like time out. And another deaf guy came out like from, from ringing the bell Shut at up. the church. He's out there fucking. Because Garcetti will give me an ear beating. I don't the know. lady was like, fuck you. I gotta, I'm done. My fingers hurt. I burned 18 <laughs> calories. I've been doing this. How great would it be to learn sign language just enough to get hired for one speech and then just do whatever the fuck you like? Do your whole well, how, like. How great would it be if you had a comedy school and you gotta like either you became a comic or you became a fucking. Deaf translator. Listen, can I talk to you for a second? I've been watching <laughs> some of your comedy shows and you really don't got it. But I think you got something for deaf people. If you don't talk, you can really be entertaining. <laughs> Jump Why are you looking down. directly at me? <laughs> light your, lights. No, no, no. Light your eyebrows on fire. <laughs> you know, shit like that. That'll work. That'll you know work. Yeah. No, I'm not. Well, have, you, have, have you seen the videos of the of the translators who don't know what they're doing? They don't. That's None what I'm of them do. About. There are videos That's what I'm saying. That's it's what I'm saying. Learn enough to get do. hired and then do whatever you want. Like make them deaf thing. people at home going, I don't know what this <laughs> fucking COVID. What's COVID? Hey. They're over there making those. You ever see the chubby <laughs> black chick with the big glasses? <laughs> I think she's the, she's the worst. Who? She's the worst. The chubby black chick with the glasses. She talks or signs? Signs. She's oh. the worst. She's like the chick from uh, <laughs> the white hair chick. And you should wear a mask and. <laughs> I don't know. I don't watch any of the politics shit. Wait, no, it's not politics. It's on a world news tonight. You're the only one who watches the news, Joe. I think you're literally the only person left who. I watch the news. six and six thirty. Yeah. I, avoid I want to know news. what's going on in my area. I want to know. I want to know what's going on nationwide. Even though I know they're bullshitting. Me. I don't know shit. I know they're bullshitting me. I don't know who's what telling you. What really you really have to do is go on three channels and make a hypothesis. <laughs> but guess what? I don't have that type of time. So what I assume was people are getting sick, people are dying. What can I do? Not hang out in big crowds, not talk to dirty people. If I smell COVID, turn around. If I smell COVID. Yeah, you can smell it. I smelt yeah. it. I, I went somewhere yesterday and I smelt it with the mask. No. Shut up. That was your own fart you smelled no. at Trader Joe's. I'm not going to say where I went yesterday, but I'll give you a hint. It was in Burbank and I walked in with the mask and they had all the doors shut and the air had that warmth to it. COVID breeds. Come on. And oh. they're walking around with no fucking mask on. Jesus. What? Where's this at? I'm not Come gonna on. Say it. I'm not going to say it. It's pretty fucking bad. I just know this. I... I know that. I know that. Listen, I was thinking of stopping this podcast when COVID hit. Because, no. Yes, because I, I couldn't live with myself. I quit it. If somebody came in here and got sick, it's not for me. I don't have that type of. Ten years ago, I would have sprayed COVID in your eye. I don't give a fuck. I would have put it in your drink. But now, I have a wife. COVID would have been the least of our problems. Yeah, with you. I, I snorted COVID. You know what I'm saying? Like, fucking COVID. COVID is dick. I would have rubbed it on my balls and pissed it in your face. First, I would have, I would have packed the pellet in my dick, and when I come, it would hit your pellet, and it blow up with COVID. Then the cum would come over it oh, and really activate it, like bromo salsa, like alpha salsa. You know what I'm saying? Like. So, I'm really <laughs> petrified of that. I would love to go out and do comedy. But guess what? Even social distancing comedy, I'm not into doing. I don't want to put that many people together. I have nothing that important to fucking say. No. 
okay? I really don't. If I don't get two weeks of proper training before Salt Lake City, wise guys. The You're not going to be good anyway. No, I'm yeah, not going to really be good. Why would hard. I want to let people see me in yeah. my worst situation? Yes, I could be entertaining. I could. No, it's hard as shit. But I'm not going to be $25 worth entertaining. Yeah. And I'm not going to be $35 worth entertaining. So why are we going to do this? I'd yeah. rather take my time off, move, get my life together, get my family situated, let Lee go see his family, let Lee decide what he wants to do. And somewhere along that, where I'm going, comedy open up, and I'll start right back. I'm so excited about restarting. Me too. Going to, I'm going to go buy the Judy Carter book. No, wait, I have it. I'll give it to I'm you. I'm going to go buy it. I got it, it at my house. I'm going to read it from scratch, and I'm going to just do and fall in love with it. And I I'm get that. I'm going to take like three months just to fall in love with it. No gigs. Just to, no responsibility. Yeah. Kate, you're doing a room tonight? Yeah, swing by and do 10. I'll let you close it. I'll give you a hundred. I don't even want it. Yeah. Let me just come down and do the ten, just to build up again, build some good credibility with the, with karma. You know, get that good comedy karma. Back, Got to help out some people Got in some to. rooms. Yeah. And then go back on the road. But where I think I'm gonna move, I'm access to twenty comedy clubs without taking yeah. a fucking plane, so I could drive to a lot of stuff. So, I'm very excited about that. I'm That's excited what, for I'm, you. I'm excited about the second. You know, like you always, I'm going back to law school, and I'm going to do it right this time. Yep. I already went for 29 years. I've been lingering at law school, like hanging on to people and talking yeah. to people and asking questions. Now I'm going to do comedy how I wanted to do it. Oh, yeah. I might switch from being dirty. Fuck it. Why not? I might become Hysterical. John Mulaney. I would I, love that. Be the next have, Jim Gaffigan. I have so many opportunities. <laughs> hot pockets. <laughs> I'll talk about hot pockets and lighting bacon and yeah, but how you... I give bacon to Jews on purpose. <laughs> you know, no, I'm out there giving out bacon to Jews. I don't give a fuck, Jack. Who else can we offend? <laughs> yeah, you know, I I wonder if there's a different style. I yeah. wonder if I'm, I've been watching a lot of Lenny Bruce lately. Oh, yeah. And I'm going back to like I like that '60s. He calls everybody a cat. See, oh, so I ran funny. into this cat. See, and he was pretty cool. You see, I like that. Like that rhythm he had. He had like a jazz to his stand up. Nobody has that anymore. I love Lenny Bruce. We all have Netflix comedy now. We all are Netflix comics now. We don't have that jazz to us. No yeah, more, that relaxation. That I'm eliminating all that. I'm taking all that out of my life. So. It's over. Now I'm going to be better than ever. I'll tell you, those shows I did, the weekends I did, like, it was the most fun I've had in so long. Because you can't do your old shit. You can't go on stage and be like, oh, Tinder. It's not irrelevant. It's like, you have to talk about now, but you don't have time to build all new material. So, like, it was really fun to just go up. And, like, I got new bits just out of what's happening right now and being angry and I know, being passionate. I, I already know, you know? What my opening bit is going to be. Yeah. Who's got toilet paper left? <laughs> you know? What was the toilet paper for? People are dying and you're buying toilet paper. I Can know. anybody give me the fucking logic behind that? It's so fucking dumb. We're going in like fucking Marines. You understand me? Welcome to church, motherfucker.